students uh, le, today's session is about the antimicrobial agents here we will discuss about the classification and the general introduction of the antimicrobial agents now uh, antimicrobial agents so the definition of the an, an antimicrobial agents is an agent that kills the microorganisms or stops their growth here we if you if we say that the microorganisms then it includes the various categories of the microorganism that the uh, bacteria fungi protozoa and all that microbial agents may inhibit the synthesis of cell wall or nucleic acid to produce their effect here we can see if a cell wall or the nucleic acids for the microorganism synthesis of that component is inhibited then the microbial cell will not grow up then the growth of the microbial cells are inhibited that is why the microbial agents inhibit the synthesis of cell wall and the nucleic acids sometimes they are responsible for inhibition of unique metabolic steps and also synthesis protein sometimes the synthesis of the protein and the metabolic steps that involve the various metabolic pathways are inhibited by the microbial agents it is also useful for the same action of the antimicrobial agents now this this is a list of the characteristics of the antimicrobial agents it should have rapid onset and sustained activity if a microbial agent have a rapid onset activity it will act very uh, act uh, after a very small period uh, of application and if it had a sustained activity that is why its effect uh, is it produce a long term effect it should have a small latency period and now what is the latency period it is the time span between application of a drug and its effect and between these two phases the time span is termed as the latency period if a drug have a very small latency period we can say that it is effective or good for our application it should possess the antiseptic or germicide activity and no bacteriostatic activity here the bacteriostatic activity means the if any microbial agent cannot kill the bacteria but stop the growth of the bacteria then it can be termed as the bacteriostatic so for an ideal antimicrobial agent it should be always a antiseptic or germicide means they should kill the bacteria but not only inhibit the growth of the bacteria lack of local irritant and allergic effects on tissues it should produce it should not produce a local irritant or allergic effect otherwise it will be a problem to a topical problem for a topical application of the drugs a, an ideal antimicrobial agent should have a high availability at low cost for uh, if it is available at low cost then it can be applicable are used by most of the peoples it must it must possess a good therapeutic index indicating the usefulness in the concentration employed therapeutic index means a range of the dose uh, we can term as the therapeutic index is the ratio of the therapeutic dose and the toxic dose if we can say the term that good therapeutic index it indicates that small variation in the doses of the drugs cannot produce any toxic effect it should show no systemic activity of toxicity from the topical application must have a broad spectrum of action that is why it can be applicable uh, in a number of the microorganisms must have a favorable lipid water distribution coefficient now the specific terminology is there that is the antiseptics 
Antiseptics are the substances that are able to kill or prevent the growth of the microorganisms. They are applied to, on, to living tissue. Antiseptics may be used in the form of the mouthwashes, soaps, deodorants or as the nasal spray. Here the another term that is the disinfectants. These are the substances that prevent the infection by the destruction means killing the pathogenic microorganisms. Disinfectants are applied to inanimate objects and it cannot be applied to the living cell or the tissues. Disinfectants are widely used for home and hospital sanitation purpose. Now, the, there are substances that are termed as germicides and the su substances which kill the microorganisms are known as germicides means kills the germs Where, but here there are three classifications if a substance acts against various bacteria it can be termed as bactericides and a substance which act against the fungus or the fungi can be known as the fungicides and the substance which prevent the function of the virus, virus by killing the viruses it can be known as the virucide or virucide. Bacteriostatics, these are the substances which primarily function by inhibiting the growth of the bacteria but not by killing. Bacteriostatic drugs are arrest the growth of the bacteria but they are uh, could uh, they are could not be able to kill the bacteria. Now another classification there is the sanitizers. Disinfectants are used to maintain the general public health and standards are termed as the sanitizers. They are substances which are used in sanitation and they are useful in cleaning and washing away the organic matter, especially saliva, blood and all that. Now here the mechanism of the antiseptics and the disinfectants. There are probably three mechanisms. One is the oxidation another mechanism is halogenation and third one is protein binding or the protein precipitation now oxidation we will discuss about the oxidation mechanism by this type of reaction antimicrobial agents are bring about oxidation of the active functional groups which are present in the proteins or the enzymes and these groups are vital to the growth or survival of the microorganisms this type of the reactions mainly produced by the peroxides, uh, for example, hydrogen peroxides and the oxygen liberating permanganate compounds and by the oxohalogen anions. Second mechanism is the halogenation compounds that are able to liberate the chlorine or the hypochlorite ions or the iodine containing uh, substances are produce their activity antimicrobial activity by the halogenation reaction they mainly act on peptide linkage and alter its chemical properties the result in the destruction of specific function of protein that for destruction of the specific uh, proteins and the functions of the protein further growth of the microorganism is not possible now the third mechanism one is the protein precipitation the metal ions present in the antimicrobial agents exhibit the protein binding or the protein precipitation property uh, here the metal ions act as the Lewis acid and bind to the polar group present in the protein as the ligand and this binding results in the formation of chelate means the chelate complex is formed which leads to the inactivation of the protein and these substances cannot distinguish between the protein and the uh, protein of the microbes and the proteins of the host depending on the concentration and used corrosive irritant and even caustic action it had to be observed on the host means uh, hosts are also um, affected by these type of antimicrobial agents so uh, today's session is uh, here thank you